Hey guys, Level Cap here. Today I'm going to give you some tips on how to unlock your final mastery assignments for the bolt action sniper rifles in Battlefield 5. These are some of the hardest assignments in the game to complete, mostly because they're entirely circumstantial and far less based on your individual skill or how long you're willing to work at it. You have to be in the perfect game mode on the right side. You have to have balanced teams. I'm going to talk about all the things that need to line up in order for you to attempt to complete these assignments. On top of which, you actually have to be a pretty good player in addition to the stars aligning. Now, first of all, you have to get to your last tier of the mastery assignments for the bolt action rifles. Uh, some of the harder tiers can actually be completed in co-op, like getting 20 prone headshot kills in one game or 10 in one life. That can be done in co-op pretty easy now, so don't uh, torture yourself in multiplayer trying to complete those ones. Once you get to the final one, the assignment is getting 20 headshot kills in one round where your enemies are in objective areas. You can also get 10 in one life, but this is far more difficult and unrealistic to get. Maybe if you had some good dedicated medics, but for the most part, uh, this guide is going to be about getting 20 in one round. Now let's talk about how to approach these assignments because just going out one day deciding that I'm going to focus on nothing but these bolt action rifle assignments is going to be a very frustrating experience because it's just going to mean that you're going to have to keep joining and quitting out of games until you get the right situation. Rather than doing that, I found it more enjoyable to just have at least one of my final mastery assignments equipped at all times. And then if the round presented itself or I joined a game and the stars aligned and it was the perfect situation to attempt the assignment, then I would go for it. And that seems to be the way forward with these assignments rather than just specifically trying to grind one out after the other equip a bunch and go for the ones that make sense at the right time okay now what is the perfect situation well breakthrough breakthrough gives you a long format game mode in which targets are generally in one direction for you they often clump up and if you're attacking on breakthrough the defenders depending on the map but many of the maps will have large defensive objective areas. Many times there'll be snipers hanging out, standing still. It's the best situation to get those headshot objective kills. I would say the perfect situation, but there aren't any real perfect situations for completing this assignment. I've been in similar situations multiple times over where the teams just play differently and sometimes players wouldn't hang out in the objective areas and I would get very few objective headshot kills. Other times I would get like 10 really quickly right off the bat at the start of a round. So it's hard to say that this will work every time because simply put, it won't. So in addition to being on the attacking side of a breakthrough game mode, I find it helps most on maps like Rotterdam. At the start of Rotterdam, you can keep your distance from the objective area and there's a lot of places where snipers like to hang out. Um, on Devastation, especially with some of the first objective areas, Players like to just camp on those objectives and you can hang back and pick off their heads as a sniper in devastation. And also on Hamada, when you're pushing on breakthrough, this one's a bit trickier. I definitely failed several times on it, but if the teams are playing just right, they're hanging out on the objectives, there's many good sniper angles throughout, I would say, all of the initial objectives until you get to the very last objective. So I've completed one on Rotterdam and I've completed one on Hamada, and I think Devastation is probably one of the better ones. I just uh, haven't joined around early enough to complete the assignment. Now, in addition to being on these great maps, you also have to have well-balanced teams. And what I mean by this is you need teams that are not going to capture your objectives too quickly. So if you're attacking, you don't want your team to just steamroll through. You won't have any time to complete the assignment. Sure, you might get some cool objective headshot kills, but you're not gonna have enough time to get 20 in one game. So you need a team that is taking their time, pushing forward, but they still have to be able to capture objectives eventually. And that's ultimately what becomes so frustrating about these assignments is much of it is out of your control. You can be having the best game of your life and still not get the assignment because, well, your team pushed through too quickly or maybe they weren't good enough and they could never break through the initial objective and it just didn't give you enough time. So that is the worst part of this assignment, that so much of it is left up to circumstance and something that you don't have any control over. Uh, unless you've got, you know, 20 of your friends in the game somehow and like 
You're like, okay, don't push through to the next objective. Okay, uh, now let's push through to the next objective. You know, like, unless you had that kind of control over your team, there's, there's just no way to decide if you're going to be able to complete an assignment in a game or not. So you just kind of have to have it equipped at all times as one of your four assignments to keep one of your favorite bolt actions at the ready. And when that round presents itself to you where it's perfectly balanced teams, you're on the attacking team on one of the uh, mentioned maps of breakthrough, then go for it. So it's highly, 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 highly specific, which is stupid. And it took me a while to figure out what rounds and what modes and what worked for completing these assignments. But now that you guys know, and if you want to push for it, now you can. So I hope that guide helps. I'd like to finish out this video with some uh, live commentary highlights of me uh, playing on these rounds and completing some of these assignments. Plenty of good bolt action sniper headshots in there, so enjoy. I just tried to bayonet charge me, man. Heard him coming a mile away. Tons of headshots. I guess, oh, I traded with the sniper, I, I think. Oh no, I didn't trade. It Maybe. was a different sniper they got me. I should be safe here. Yeah. Ish. 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 Emphasis I heard on a spawn the beacon. Ish. I don't know if that was yours. Ow! I got him. I'm pushing up on the right side here. I'm going to try anyway. All right. It's really not a good mode for this map either. That's why they give you so many tickets. Well, it's just like a mode where you have to be able to move quickly. Get out of harm's way quickly, and then you just get stuck on every single pebble. Yeah. Wow. I'm not next to you, by the way. If you're no, I know, I know, I know. There were some medics around, but they're gone. Uh, dude, that's that's most of the people that I find with that drop me in like one frame is the good pingers. And of course, we lost Bravo. <laughs> Yeah. Like, well, that's interesting, but also highly annoying. Guy's on the point somewhere. I can't find him though. They're point. on the other side of the, of the. Yeah, I'm shooting a couple of them. Okay, in the objective? No, he wasn't. Yeah, they're actually in the trench there. Not a headshot. Um, um, All right. Oh my god, they're all, all all over us. This is crazy. They're all spawning back in now. This is not good. Good, that was an objective headshot. I don't even want to kill these guys over here, but they're <laughs> going to be super annoying. There's guys on the right side cliff, and I'm just like, I don't want to waste my ammo on them. Right. Because they're not on objectives. I just need some guys to sit still on B. Is there a spawn beacon up on the right? I'm not sure, though. All right, that was an objective headshot. Cool. Keep it a rock on the right. Oh. Dude, soldier animation at a range is so consistently it sucks. bad. It sucks. Another objective headshot. Oh, so close. Yes, they are taking B. Really good. Oh. Pretty darn close here. Oh, wait. Did I get it? I got it. Woohoo. What the hell? It didn't even update. All right. I guess I missed it. Oh, somebody uh, chased. Someone in chess, like, you got the assignment, bro. <laughs> Hell yeah. Thank you, man. Let's go headshot some more people in celebration. Oh no, I missed the easy headshot. There we go. Then we'll push some awkward outside flank here. <laughs> Woo, get headshot, bro. I actually haven't messed around with the car enough in the faster rate of fire mode, so I'll try that okay. one out. That's fair enough. I'm down. Oh, yep. So am I. <laughs> these, these two or three other guys here on the point. I got one tagged. Okay. Ow, ow, which ow. means he should be spotted. Alright, he's he's dead. 
He's gonna get in that truck. Hey, wow, we oh. pushed that fast, man. Nice. GG. GG. Woohoo! Golden sniper skin for me!